Now, uh, follow this uh, technique which I'm going to out outline for you, and you'll never want for wealth all the days of your life, for it is the master key to wealth. The first step is to reason it out in your mind that God or the life principle or the living spirit is the source of the universe, the galaxies in space, and everything you see. Whether you look at the stars in the sky, the mountains, the lakes, the deposits in the earth, and the sea, or all animals and plants. The life principle gave birth to you, and all the powers, qualities, and attributes of God are within you. Come to a simple conclusion that everything you see and are aware of came out of the invisible mind of the infinite, or the life principle and that everything that man has invented, created, or made came out of the invisible mind of man. And the mind of man and the mind of God are one, for there is only one mind. That mind is common to all individual men. Everyone is an inlet and an outlet to all that is. Come now to a clear-cut decision that God is the source of your supply of energy, vitality, health, creative ideas, the source of the sun, the air you breathe, the apple you eat, and the money in your pocket. For everything is made inside and out of the invisible. It is as easy for God to become wealth in your life as it is to become a blade of grass or a crystal of snow. The second step. Decide now to engrave in your subconscious mind the idea of wealth. Ideas are conveyed to the subconscious by repetition, faith, and expectancy. By repeating a thought pattern or an act over and over again, it becomes automatic, and your subconscious being compulsive, you will be compelled to express wealth. The pattern is the same as learning to walk, swim, play the piano, type, or drive a car. You must believe in what you're affirming. It's not mumbo-jumbo, it's not idle affirmations. You must believe in what you're affirming, like you believe that when you put seeds in the ground, they grow after their kind. And the seeds are thoughts deposited in your own subconscious mind. Realize that what you are affirming is like the apple seeds you deposit in the ground, and they grow after their kind. You can imagine the seeds going from your conscious to your subconscious mind and being reproduced on the screen of space. By watering and fertilizing these seeds, you accelerate their growth. Know what you are doing and why you are doing it. You are writing it with your conscious pen and your subconscious mind. Because you know, wealth is walk down the street and you see it. Can you count the flowers along the road as you drive? Can you count the sands on the seashore? Can you count the stars in the sky? Can you count the wealth that you are walking on? Yes, underneath you. Maybe oil, gold, silver, uranium. Do you ever think of the riches of the sea, the soil, the air? So repeat third step is repeat the following affirmation for about five minutes, night and morning. I am now writing in my subconscious mind the idea of God's wealth. God is the source of my supply, and I, go, and I know God is the life principle within me, and I know I am alive. And all my needs are met at every moment of time and point of space. God's wealth flows freely, joyously, and ceaselessly into my experience and I give thanks for God's riches forever circulating in my experience. Step 4. When thoughts of lack come to you, such as, I can't afford that trip, or I can't meet that note in the bank, or I can't pay that bill, never, never finish a negative statement about finances. This is mandatory. Reverse it immediately in your mind by affirming, God is my instant and everlasting supply, and that bill is paid in divine order. If a negative thought comes to you fifty times in one hour, reverse it each time by thinking and affirming, God is my instant supply, meeting that need right now. After a while, the thought of financial lack will lose all momentum, and you will find your subconscious is being conditioned to wealth. If you look at a new car, for example, never say, I can't buy that or I can't afford it. Your subconscious takes you literally and blocks all your good. On the contrary, say to yourself, that car is for sale 
It is a divine idea, and I accept it in divine order through divine love. This is the master key to wealth. It's impossible for any sincere person to practice this technique and not have, not have all the wealth he or she needs all the days of your life. So follow it, and you're setting the law of opulence in operation. It will work for you as well as for anybody else. The law of mind is no respecter of persons. Your thoughts make you wealthy or poor. Choose the riches of life right here and right now.